the wise men with the gray beards and the wise women with the gray hair used to say this and I heard them again and again in my long journey of initiation. It is an insult to believe that God, the great planter of life, only planted life upon this, our shabby little world. No, there are other worlds besides ours. There are other worlds beside our Mother Earth upon which life exists. The Africans even went on to describe 14 of these worlds. Some have got huge fresh water lakes which are as big as seas but no oceans. It is said that only two wells are covered with salt water. The first one is the world of the normal. The first encounter between Africans and extraterrestrial beings occurred more than 7,000 years ago. It is said that a door opened in this strange metallic sphere and out of the sphere there came a long line of strange creatures, creatures that walked like human beings, creatures that had webbed feet and webbed hands. The leading creature lifted up its stick and its right hand and it addressed the people as follows. People of this world, we are the Numu people. We come from the land of the star of Kiri Dahu. We come from the star you know as the star of the red dog. Listen to our words because we have been sent by a very high one in a high place to make certain truths known to you. The people listened spellbound as the strange creature spoke. It spoke for days, we are told, telling our people about the mysteries of the cosmos. It spoke for days, we are told, telling our people about the mysteries of creation. The creature told our people that the race of humanity was once great amongst the stars. That human beings were once the leading race in the great cluster of stars. The galaxy. The creature said that because human beings were so vicious, so aggressive towards other intelligent creatures and towards living things in general. A great war broke out amongst the stars as several worlds joined forces against the human race, fought it and drove it away from the center of the great star flower. To seek refuge in this forgotten world of ours. The Numu or the Numu or the Nomo told our people that there were many races amongst the stars 
races of living beings who were afraid of us human beings who kept us under constant observation to ensure that never again do we become a threat to other intelligent creatures amongst the world. The Numu or the Nomo told the people that if we human beings could get rid of hatred, if we could get rid of war, if we could get rid of disease, if we could get rid of selfishness, the great gathering of the star worlds would once more receive us with open arms to take once more our rightful place. in the great kingdom of the world.